Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a K 2016 question based on EBA small model. So our question is, the EBA small model of a BJT is valid for only in active mode, first option, second option is only in active and saturation mode, third option only in active and cutoff mode and the fourth one in active saturation and cutoff mode. So first of all, we have to think about the EBA small model. Okay. So it is already clearly applicable for BJT. So suppose I am taking one NPN transistor. So this indicates NPN. Okay. And this one is your collector side, base side, and emitter side. Okay. One can also think like that. N okay so make it right N P N say emitter base collector okay so here we can see the N and P form some types of diode so I am making a diode like a structure and P and N also forms a diode this is the way to draw the Ewa smart border okay and before that suppose this one is a BJT this large signal border you can say you can draw the large signal model like this. Collector in, base in, emitter in, alpha F IC, or here I am writing I T E. Okay. I D E or we can simply say if this one is I if this one is our alpha F I E but we are thinking in terms of this diode so that's why I am writing alpha F I D E because this current I C equals to alpha I E so very similar type of concept is there okay so here this one is in the active mode okay so here we can say this int is our say emitter and collector and one more thing we, we have to do for this generation of this model Suppose this one is our current I D E. Okay. So this will be our alpha F I D E. Where it is in the active mode. And for the reverse active mode, this diode, say this one is D E, and this D C, the reverse active current will say flow as IDC then it should be our alpha R I D C it should be connected here. So this one is the reverse for order. Okay. One can also write or one can also make this one. First you have to draw how to draw this model okay base collector emitter so i am giving some practice that how to draw n p n so back a diode first n and p okay for this one collector one and say this one is dc 
n1 more diode pn n like this pn okay sorry this diode will be like that so this diode will be okay and then if this was reverse uh, sorry forward active mode what we have to do alpha f say i d e if this was our d e and for the reverse active mode the other one will be alpha r i d c for this one and this one in your collector base and emitter so like that way we have to draw both are this one this diagram and this diagram is also same okay clear so here we can observe that when base collector for a forward uh, for a forward active mode base meter junction forward wise okay this was the java base when base emitter junction is forward wise okay and base collector junction is in reverse wise so this one will work in the forward active mode okay in the reverse active mode this one will work okay and in the saturation mode both diode will be on okay B both will be in forward wise in saturation region base emitter junction okay and base collector junction both will be in forward mode or forward biased better to write okay so when both will be forward by so again this model will work okay in linear or we can say forward active better to write forward active region base emitter junction forward bias and base collector reverse bias again it will work okay this model and in case of cut off both base emitter and base collector junction is in the reverse bias condition reverse bias condition so again it will work okay so in even if it is it will work for the reverse but reverse active mode also in reverse active mode reverse active mode it will work it will work so we can say that this model is valid for all active region saturation region and cut off region so our answer is d but before that we have to know how to draw this diagram okay so if this one is a npn transistor better to make a diode once again i am repeating better to make a diode like that p n okay and here okay so one so for this one we are saying dc de okay and the forward active forward active alpha f ide when we are saying this one is id p and this one is idc okay and this current will be our ic ib and this will be our i p so using the kcl uh, kcl and kvl concept also we have to find the all terminal currents through this model so very simple answer for this one the ebus mode model is valid for all modes active situation cut off even for the reverse active mode so this is all about this simple question
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस